You're gonna back it up in a straight line? Yes. <laughs> this time. I'm going to get food. Yes. For our child. What's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna be on Kells. Christian's still asleep, uh, but we're gonna get groceries. So I'm gonna film this and put it in a vlog because we need footage. So, is there anything you'd like to say to the people? Um, not yet. Oh, okay. Maybe. She doesn't want to touch you guys, it's okay. <laughs> So long, guys. We're currently in Tampa, Florida, for episode 15, 15 of Summer Shredding 2022 with the return. I'll get into it later in the video. First things first, this is my room, this is my scale. Here comes my weigh in. There you go. All right, 197.0 this morning. Slightly heavier than I've been the last two days, by like a pound, but that's not abnormal because we did fly last night. We were up super late. I think I went to bed at like 3 30, almost 4 in the morning. So, that is a check-in. Now I am starving. There's no food here. This is sick Airbnb. So we're gonna go get some food. I brought some toothpaste. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mine at home. So this is our sick Airbnb. Um, Kelsey and Bill staying downstairs. I'm staying upstairs. Had a little cup of water last night that I brought up so I need to be thirsty. And now I'm gonna have a, like three more cups of water because my stomach is like in severe pain right now because I'm so hungry. So to help that, chug water. I took two metal, I started, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I started taking something. I started taking something. Uh oh. Melatonin? Taking two pills of that shit before you go to bed? Man, <laughs> sleeping like a rock. <laughs> I'm not gonna take more than two though. I'm just gonna say it. Mm. There's giant cups in there where you don't have to refill your coffee cup three times. Really? If you turn around. There is big cups. <laughs> it's a <laughs> mental thing to where it gives, it gives me the feeling of like, like I'm kind of, I'm drinking my coffee. <laughs> Great. Uh, toothpaste? <laughs> I want food. <laughs> you guys want to see my Ninja Turtle video? Yeah, can I see it? Yeah, yeah, you want to see it? Is it good? We came up with a story on the spot. So, yesterday, filmed this sick Ninja Turtle thing, because today, the day you're watching this, the Ghost Ninja Turtle collab went live. Check it out. Ready? TG! I thought it was great. The way you jumped over that table was so unathletic. <laughs> what does the CEO do at uh, 5 p.m.? That. <laughs> what code are you gonna remember to use? CG. It's like max. <laughs> max. <laughs> this is the smallest grocery store I've ever seen in my life. So, you look around. This is still big. This is crazy small. I've never, this is tiny. Yeah, this is little. I've never seen anything as small in my life. Oh my God. How are you feeling, Christian? I'm so hungry. <laughs> Do you want turkey bacon? Yes. Or a lot of times organic. Sometimes there's too much fat in the protein. Organic, uh, sugar free. Too fat, six protein. That's that'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe check a few more brands to see if you get a little fat. All natural, but this is different. This is paleo. 1.5 fat. Yeah, 1.5 and six. Yeah, I get that one. Damn. Yeah. Of this raw shrimp? Three pounds? Yeah. Are you eating it all at one time? No, it's two pounds. <laughs> I sell it two pounds. I'll eat two pounds. I'll eat two pounds of the Ahi tuna steak, actually. <sighs> what? Oh, the maple donut? It's been a bit. Bro. It has been a bit. It's friends. been like three years. $435. Four hundred and seventy-five dollars. Four twenty four twenty-six is what I'm saying. Five thirty. Five thirty. <laughs> Looks like a lot of groceries for three days, which it is, but there's a second part of the trip here in Florida, and we'll be making like a little road trip 
from here to the next place. So I wanted to get enough of the basics so we don't have to like restock there, right? So half this food is gonna last us the whole trip and half is going to get used now. We spent like $520 on groceries. That's the record for the summer training so far. I don't want to admit <laughs> it's all mature. Yeah, it looked pretty a good. A few more weeks? It looked pretty good, man. A few more weeks. Yeah. Uh, it's now about 1 something p.m., 1 15 or so. And I'm gonna have my first meal. It's really late to have the first meal, but it's okay, we got a late start, whatever our cha time change. We're going to have six egg whites, okay? One whole egg. We have some chopped up onion, bell pepper, and spinach in here, as well as three slices of this turkey bacon. Uh, it's not the maple one, but it's gonna do just fine, all right? I think I have three slices of that, uh, the guy, Dave, three slices of his bread, which is like equivalent to a roughly 40 carb. That's gonna be breakfast. I'm keeping it pretty light, even though it's late in the day, because workout's coming up soon. I'd rather not kind of get sluggish and eat too much for my workout and have more macros later in the day. Making it work here at the pool, literally kind of pacing the pool with my phone, doing a bunch of work, because work doesn't slow down for no one. Okay. It's a Wednesday, the business will keep operating, I will keep doing, putting whatever needs to get attended to, attended to, okay? Where are you going? What's up, baby? In Tampa, Florida. I've never been to Tampa. So after I'm doing my macros, I actually want to have a little bit more carbs before I go to the gym. So I'm putting my tub of blueberries on the food scale, uh, turning the food scale on, and I'm literally just gonna like hand pull out some until I'm kind of satisfied. And whatever the grams are, it'll be negative grams. I'll put that into my fitness pal to yeah, make it easy. Alright, alright. So today. And really, the reason we are in Tampa is for one purpose. We are going to nail down our posing routine and get my homework for the next seven and a half weeks. Um, like get the layout, figure out exactly what I'm gonna be presenting on stage and nail the poses down. That way I can just practice, practice, practice when I go home. We have a chest session, or chest push day to day. Uh, we're with Alex Toppin, my coach. Shout out Alex, I'm gonna link his information in the description box. He is an amazing, I'm having a great experience so far. If you guys are looking for a coaching service, highly, highly recommend, or else I wouldn't be using him myself. I actually have a little gift for him, uh, two little surprises here. I'm gonna give to him before we start working out. So, gotta keep in mind, I'm seven and a half weeks out. He's like three and a half weeks out from his uh, first show of the season. He is an IFBB pro. Uh, and he also won Summer Shredding like before he became an IFBB pro, the Summer Shredding Classic. So he's three and a half weeks out. Whatever he's like it needing to do, we're gonna do. We're gonna accommodate to that because he's closer to the show and we're here as his guests. We're not trying to impose, we're just here to support that. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, you got your pump cover here. That you wanted last time. You got one by the hand. Yeah, I got you. I got you a gift too. Oh yeah? Yeah, but oh, I'm gonna save it for after. Would you call more cards? <laughs> more cards? <laughs> Got a little problem here. Made my pre-workout. I don't have a shaker and I don't have any. I'm just gonna use oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That'll have to do. Turtle ooze. Code CG, 20%. First working set of the entire workout, go into that level of, of fatigue from failure. What is your, what's the thought process behind that for the, for the people at that? Pre-fatigue, at this point in my prep, I'm three weeks out. I'm not going for maximum heaviest weight. I'm going for max intensity, and that doesn't necessarily mean heavy weight for me at this point. If anything, heavy weight outside of that 85% maximum right now is more of a risk than a benefit for me. Right now, filling the muscle up with blood, high intensity from start, Finishing for me right now, high intensity is a combination of moderate weight and a lot of reps. And pushing to fail, pushing to that failure point, right? Like yeah, and absolutely going. Intensity doesn't change. Just because we're going a little bit lighter, 
our intensity in terms of length might change, so our stamina needs to be up. And just going until you can't go no more. We wanna make sure we are pumping the blood. This is at a point right now where your body will start to lose muscle if you do not train it properly and make sure you feed it with the blood it needs. So cool. I ain't pushing right there. I'm gonna blend my prep where I'm prioritizing the connection the whole way. So the exercises are dictated on when I feel the best right now and intensity. So when you say as prep goes deeper, 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 you're getting further, further, further. Your instinctual, like at the, at the beginning, I feel like everything is very, very programmed to the T2 exercise. So this, yes. this four sets, eight, 12, fit, whatever that is, is it more instinctual as you go through? Absolutely, and you'll notice, that's why your your training plan isn't done. Like yeah. your training plan is based off the go, feedback. Today's workout was my first one that had nothing planned. Yeah, so yeah. like, and that's what I'm saying. So like hearing how fatigued you are, what connects best training with you, picking your brain about it, yeah. that's what's gonna dictate the next month's training plan, or at least that organization of it. Yeah. Because right now, you'll notice, like, you're gonna gravitate towards what feels the most, yeah. like, comfortable for you, but at the same time, you can get that connection and push the intensity. And you're, and that's totally fine. You gotta embrace that, and just yeah. train through. Yeah, push. Check that ego at the door with the strength and the big numbers and shit. One percent of bodybuilders can go after that last one. He just went after. Damn. We gonna hurt. I'm gonna go three and a quarter. These are the eyes of a man Bro. for 65 minutes of cardio. Oh yeah. I can I'm see in, it. Dude, getting red. I had to break it up this morning, like I was shaking on the treadmill. After 35 minutes, like oh, Well, you still get that you still get the 65 in. So that's oh, long as long as you do that, that doesn't matter. What I've realized breaking it up, I'll do like 35 in the morning, 30 later. Yeah. That 30 later, I'm able to like higher intensity and go. Like really? yeah, I'm I don't know what it is. It's like I feel like I'm like letting the treadmill just take me at that yeah. point. At the end of like the back half of my 65, if I do it straight, that back 30 minutes, I feel like I'm right back into it like fresh start. Then I die. That's crazy bro. He's a big name in the men's physique. He's gonna be on Olympia Station. I give it two years maximum he'll be on there. Place in top five and winning within four years. That's our position. Sometimes I lose my mind, get a little ratchet. Holds one cash show to get his hard dick. From that place where they move right bits and the cops say hi with a damn nice stick. Broad daylight and we still hit licks. Rock ten gold chains and you still ain't shit. Sex movement. I think of it like my sex life. Deep. This is stick up, send a shot, so you get the pitch. Bitches lying, better switch the filter. We know how you look. Michael Jackson thriller, Linka. Try to see that you need it. You can't have good without Eve. Race in the cathedral, you don't know who to trust. It's a game of thrones and I'm little finger. You got you. Bad, bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Everybody know that I'm bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Everybody know that I'm bad to the bone. Last one, we got a whole nother set. Come on, finish it. Uh, uh, 
make sure. When, when you're fatigued from like the physical, that's when you're like fuck. Like right. mental sucks, but like my rest day, I, I absolutely my rest day yesterday was absolutely necessary not to do fucking anything. Yeah, like, I was dead. Like you're like I'm telling you, there was days where I'm just like after cardio, my legs are going numb yeah. while I'm laying down. Yeah. It's like holy shit. But this, this is right here, man. You gotta fight through that shit. It sucks, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to show you guys something you literally haven't seen in about four years. Probably never see it again. So what's the idea? All right, so what we got here is the deck of cards. So you usually pick the best exercise focused more towards a pump and you just get to work. So you have 52 sets in total divided by two or divided by how many people you have. Now you have one through 10 is the actual rep range. Then you have face cards, which are 15. Then you have the joke, Joker, Joker 25. 25. That's the death card. Listen, we, we're getting you, we're gonna get you down. There's no question. I didn't understand. We're actually, I told you, we're speeding up almost yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I wanna do. But in that process, that two weeks, yeah. you're gonna feel that two weeks. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's a balance of two. But again, conditioning is not gonna be an issue. So the plan was to do some posing at Alex's house, but traffic is saying like 50 minutes to get there and it's already almost six o'clock. We're absolutely starving. We worked out, did cardio. So Alex is actually gonna make his way back here. Thank you, Alex, uh, to this side of town. And we're going to Walmart because we have all this food we bought this morning uh, and we have a grill, but we need some charcoal, we need a lighter. I'm gonna see if that's with Walmart Farms. <laughs> so <laughs> couldn't find that this morning. Have one. These are good. These are really, really good here. I'm eating two blueberry yogurts. One is 110 cal, uh, zero fat, 16 carb, 11 protein. This no sugar one is 80 calories, two fat, three grams of carbs, and 12 protein. So I'm gonna pretty much see if this one tastes like crap or not. So let's do that first. Honestly, if these macros are, if this tastes good, if this is pretty like life changing because he's not like that's three carb are you kidding me i'm sorry dannon that's good that, that, that tastes like yogurt that's good too good is a brand wow not bad it's not as as sweet it's a little bit like i don't want to say thicker but it, it does the job and you have three grams of carbs here what the heck it is too good <laughs> All right, guys, dinner. Well, there's no breakfast, lunch, and dinner really when you're doing prep, but uh, next part, yeah, don't fall off the thing. <laughs> we have eight ounces of cooked grilled chicken. I got 250 grams of white rice, an amount of roasted broccoli that I'm not tracking, but that's the amount. These broccolis are good. Those are like big broccolis. Yeah. It's like a fucking tree. <laughs> I'm trying out some of the Walden Farms honey barbecue sauce. So stride shorts available now. Cheapest short that we make and it's awesome. <laughs> 